Hello, I'm Albert Shepard, and uh, as usual, I want to show photos on the short takes. This is the 7th of September, 2010. Okay, let's see what we got on the disc. Okay, there's a yellow flower. Oh, it's in the Astor family, of course. And I'm weary of trying to get the names of all the sunflowers and various things that are in the Astor family on uh, named properly. So let's just enjoy the yellows and see what we see in the background, some purple reddish flowers. You know, that one may be called a brown-eyed Susan or a black-eyed Susan. They are similar but different enough that scientists can tell and good gardeners can tell and people who have better memories than I do can tell. But anyway, they're beautiful, and I love to see what insects are using them, and that reminds me of uh, Doug Tallamy's book. There's a, a tiny purple. It's uh, possibly, uh, I just won't even speculate, it's probably in the legume family. There is Lisa Sharp, and she's with her husband, and. Uh, they are talking to Lauren Hawkins at World Peace Wetland Prairie on Sunday, the 5th of September 2010. They toured the World Peace Wetland Prairie and also toured the um, Pinnacle Prairie and, and walked the trail uh, through Pinnacle Prairie. Saw the mowed down part and, and uh, Rob actually walked through the wettest part, the uh, flow area but uh, where you, you still have more flowers that haven't been mowed down. But still, there's some that uh, uh, I was trying to uncover. I was showing them how to uncover some of them. Well, I don't know if that's uh, ironweed or Joe Pie weed, but anyway, it's one of the beautiful uh, purple-red varieties of flowers that grow wild and are native to this area. So. Uh, you can see how that one uh, red flower divides, the stem divides into several portions. Some of the uh, similar species are all on one stem. So that's something a scientist would immediately jump on or a good gardener and tell us the name. Anyway, I love those, they're beautiful. Just had to make a lot of pictures of them. And of course, I'm only showing about a 1% of the photos I've made in the, since the last short takes were shown or recorded. That butterfly is trying to get dry. I think I've got a picture. That's his underside. He was hanging on the grass. That was early the morning of the uh, 7th of September 2010. And now there he is when he's sitting on top with his wings spread. This is a hackberry emperor butterfly. But early in the morning, they have to, they can't fly very far because they're damp and they try to find ways to, to shake it off, let themselves dry, especially if the sun's out. That's a tiny grass species. You can see how tiny when I hold it uh, in my hand that way. And the flowers are just so small that I, I didn't, well, I could have spent more time and finally got a, a clearer shot of the flower probably. Well, there's one of my favorite halactid bees. It's green metallic looking bee. And it's on a sunflower species. Or, no, this is actually the um, cup plant. Okay, here's the nut, one of the big reasons don't mow this time of year. See, that is a um, milkweed. It's common milkweed, Asclepius syriaca. And that, see how tiny that, um, that um, caterpillar is? That's a monarch caterpillar. And you can see it's not even as long as my thumb is wide. And so um, it's very important because this is the generation that you're seeing on the uh, 7th of September that will be a butterfly in October, be a monarch butterfly, and be able to fly to Mexico, live through the winter, and show up again in northwest Arkansas in the spring and uh, lay the, the next generation of monarch eggs and will become caterpillars.
early next year, probably uh, April, May, those butterflies will be coming back from Mexico and South Texas and uh, hatching out and flying around. There have been a lot of butterflies on these milkweed plants and a lot, a lot of uh, recently laying eggs. So uh, I was not surprised to see the plants start losing leaf parts because they're being uh, being eaten by the caterpillars. Those monarch caterpillars have to have milkweed and there are about eight species around my house down at World Peace Wetland Prairie, Pinnacle Prairie and so forth and they bloom at different times throughout the growing season and that way the monarchs, whichever generations being uh, reproduced, uh, the caterpillars will have access to milkweed. Till next time, this is Aubrey Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.